Normally, I wouldn't get excited about a $1,500 scooter with only one motor. If I'm gonna be paying that much, I'm gonna want two motors. And there's a bunch of brands out there that offer dual motors for around the same price. So it's not like you don't have any options. But what Yadia has done with the Elite Prime is pretty awesome. This is the first single motor scooter that I've been able to wheelie. This is also by far the fastest single motor scooter I've tried. But the acceleration isn't what got me excited. That would be the suspension. Instead of using spring like most brands do, they've added polymer shocks. And don't ask me to describe what they are. I did a Google search and found some stuff that just confused me even more. What you need to know is that they take the impact a lot better and they're much quieter. I want you to notice how quiet this landing is. This is a six inch curb and I'm gonna come off at about 15, 16 miles an hour. Yudia also upped their game with their app. They've got this cool senseless unlocking feature. So scooter is on and as I walk away, oh, heard that beep, scooter shuts off. And then as I approach, it turns back on. I've seen this with other scooters, but it's never worked that well. You can also lock the scooter, change the speed mode, which when on the highest speed mode, tops the scooter out at 18 miles per hour. And then you can turn on the regenerative braking. Here's the difference between all three regen levels without using the levers. Now here's all three levels again when I use the brake levers. So you've got a little more braking power when it's turned to the highest regen level. One of the cool things I liked about this and what makes this scooter just a little bit more unique is that it comes with a magnetic charger. I don't see this design very often, I just thought it was pretty cool. And then they have the kickstand recessed into the frame, so it just gives a sleek and nice looking appearance. The deck to fin transition is seamless, just one single piece, and it's not a very steep angle, so when I did put my foot back there, it was comfortable. And then there's the curved handlebars that give a nice and spacious cockpit, but then make it easy to grab the grips as they're curved back towards you. I also like the head and tail light, which are very bright. And then you got turn signals that do make a beeping noise so you know that they're on. And they do turn off automatically after about five seconds. Now, one of my favorite features about the scooter is how quiet of a ride it is. Check out how quiet this is. And I'm even going up a canyon. There's about a three, four, 5% slope. There's zero noise. And I also can't complain about the hill climbing power. This is the first single motor scooter to make it up a 26% grade. Here we go. Doing good so far. And here's the steepest section. There's the cruise kicking on. Oh, I think it's gonna do it. It is gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, down to six. That's as low as it's going. Back up to seven and over the top. Now, if you're a tall rider, you'll like this because this has one of the tallest stems that I've tried. All right, check out uh, how tall this stem is. I'm 5'11", standing straight up and I can reach past the grips about a foot. And then there's balance. It's hitting 17, 18 miles an hour. And this is a kind of a bumpy road and handling it pretty well. The last few features I liked about the Elite Prime are the soft air-filled puncture resistant tires. I hardly felt the sidewalk lines and Chipsill Road. And then I can't end the review without talking about range. I averaged 17 miles per hour and my app recorded 23.74 miles with 1,423 feet of elevation gain. I thought that was a pretty good range for my 190 pound frame. Didia says that you can get up to about 45, 50 miles if you weigh a little bit less than me and ride on flatter terrain. Now I hope you understand why I got excited about a single motor scooter that cost $1,500. The suspension, which is some of the best suspension I've seen on a scooter and the takeoff power are my my two favorite things. But I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think it's worth it? Or would you be willing to sacrifice a little speed for more comfort? Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Yeah.